Okay, this is the video for differential scanning calorimetry. Um, typically this is covered up with a, a moving blanket which is stored down here uh, to prevent a lot of dust buildup um, on the instrument because it is a little bit sensitive. Uh, first thing you're going to do uh, when you operate this is you're going to turn on the nitrogen tank which is right here. And you're just going to open up the main valve, um, check that there's enough tank pressure here and that the PSI in the line is a little below 20, maybe 15 or so. To increase that, you would turn uh, this valve clockwise. Um, to decrease it, you would turn it counterclockwise. Okay, then you're going to go over to the DSC and double check that the green light is on here. If it's not, then reach around the back side um, about halfway up and there will be a power switch and you can flip that on and it will beep. Um, you also want to double check that the computer is on down here and that the chiller is turned to uh, power on and event. And that you can always leave uh, on. Uh, there are also directions here which you can also follow. Okay, so after that green light's been on for a little while, you can log into the computer. There's no password. You just hit log in. You're going to open this TA Instrument Explorer down here and you're going to right click and connect. You'll hear uh, that two-tone beep. You'll see the instrument panel pop up and first thing you're going to do is uh, you see this pop up, so sample purge gas cannot reach specified flow rate. That means that um, the nitrogen hasn't reached the uh, 50 milliliter per minute flow rate that you see here. Um, then you're going to do two steps. One is control event on. You'll hear the chiller kick on. It's going to take about 15 minutes and you'll see this flange temperature go down to about minus 70 or minus 80 degrees Celsius. Um, in order to prevent the cell from uh, chilling at the same time, we want to do uh, control and go to standby temp. This will make sure that the temperature in the cell, which is here, um, does not cool below freezing, which will make sure that there's no condensation on the inside of the cell. Um, then you can go do like a PowerPoint presentation with the students, and uh, when we come back, we will prepare a sample and show you how to load it into the DSC.